What are you doing here? This is our casino, punk. Huh. You've got moxie, buddy. But we don't take kindly to tourists on our turf. 100 caps should cover this trip into our territory. Fuck. We lose again. We heard Prim was ripe for the picking, so figured we could come here and shake down some of the suckers. We weren't expecting a sheriff here. We're just trying to put as many miles from NCR as we can. We don't want to be anywhere near New Vegas when the Legion crosses the river. Our luck has gone south since we lost all of our money gambling in Vegas. We didn't go AWOL from duty to become raiders. But we've seen what the Legion does to people that survive their battles. We wanted to be gone before the fighting starts. And we heard there may be some safety up in New Canaan. No fucking way. We're deserters now. The NCR isn't gonna throw us a ticker tape parade for going home. Yeah. If we see the NCR, they'll be waiting for us with a bullet to the brain pan. So what are we supposed to do? Just run? Maybe you're right. Come on, boys. Let's get the hell out of here before the law shows up. Retribution! Hang on there, Traveler. You'll want to steer clear of this place. The whole town's irradiated to high hell. I was stationed at Camp Searchlight before the incident. I've since taken it upon myself to keep travelers away from the area. Some legionaries snuck into the camp and set off some kind of radiation bomb. I don't know where they got it, but it was damn effective. Killed almost everyone and turned the rest into ghouls. I was out on patrol at the time, so I wasn't in the camp when it happened. There were a few others with me after it happened, including some of my superiors. Between radiation poisoning and attacks by the Legion, they all died out. I don't know, unfortunately. There may be clues somewhere inside the camp, but I'm not about to run in there to find out. Sure. Head north toward Novak. Look for a big dinosaur. Can't miss it. 
because it's a far safer place to be than here. Sir? Who the fuck are you? That's none of your damn business. Look, if you really want to help, either get the fuck out of our way or hack that damn computer over there. The location of some radiation suits. I found an inventory list that says they should be here, but I can't seem to find them anywhere. The computer should know what happened to them. Yeah, you do that. Hey there. What do you want now? Name's Logan. What the hell do you want? Look, I don't need your shit. Either get out of the way or things are gonna get rough. What do you want now? Tell you what. Bring us those suits and you can come with us while we loot the town. You can keep a share. Well, then get your ass out there. I saw some Legion assholes carrying crates to a cave north of here. May have been NCR shit. I don't fucking know. Bye. Howdy. What do you want now? What? We're gonna check out the police and fire stations. They were the buildings used most by the NCR, so they're our best chance at good shit. I found the keys on one of the trooper corpses. Anything that's valuable. You done with the questions yet? It's about damn time. Shut up and keep going. Who the hell are you? Better yet, what the hell are you doing in this cursed place? You know what? Forget it. It doesn't matter. Welcome to Camp Searchlight. The shittiest place on Earth. No, I'm not. Not yet, anyway. I'm Private Kyle Edwards. Former NCR trooper. Couldn't you tell? That damn radiation bomb got me. I can't serve the NCR like this. I'm not so sure about that. I don't know how the NCR feels about ghouls. I'm here because I have nowhere else to go. Believe me, I'd love to leave. But I can't because I don't know what effect the radiation will have on me. Yeah, but I don't want to go feral. And that's probably what more radiation would do to me. Look, just leave me alone. I'm not going outside. Yeah. Not much, I'm afraid. What do you want to know? I know that this place was originally a mining town before the NCR took it over. I think they mined gold before the war. Sorry, I don't know much more than that. Sir.
Howdy. Shut up and keep going. What do you want now? All right, we can move now. Here's the key to the fire station. Howdy. Over here. Over here. What do you want now? Same stuff. Any NCR weapons, computer parts, or radio parts. What do you want now? Alright, thanks for the help. Time to die, loser. Eat this! back. What can I do for you? Who's Private Edwards? If he's a ghoul, he should be put down. I can't let a rabid dog suffer. Sure. Sir?
Howdy there, partner. Oh, this old thing? Why, thanks, friend. This here guitar is just about the only thing my daddy left me. Long time ago now. I never even knew him. Ma always said he was a mysterious fella, always traveling on in secret. My story's a long one, friend, and I can't say as it's all that interesting. Well, I was born in a little town out Montana way. Me and Ma didn't have much, ever since my pa up and left. That he did. Never did know why. Ma always said he was a real mysterious fella, even when he was with her. Like he was a stranger sometimes. Maybe. Maybe I just never felt like I belonged back home. It sure wasn't easy. Ma worked her fingers to the bone to make sure we had enough to survive. And I worked the coal mines from when I was 15. After Ma died, I guess I wanted to find my pa and get some answers from him. Been out here looking ever since. But he ain't an easy man to find. Can't say as I really know. Maybe I'll just ask him why. Maybe I'll punch him right in the mouth. Hell, the more I talk about it, the more the whole damn thing sounds like a dumb idea. Maybe I should. Don't suppose you know any place a fella with a guitar might find a job, huh? Ah, well, it was worth a shot. So long, friend. You here to pay your respects to? It commemorates the Battle of Hoover Dam. The Rangers lured the best of Caesar's Legion into Boulder City, then blew the whole town up. The NCR still lost a bunch of troops in the fighting, though. My older brother sacrificed himself so they could evacuate some of the wounded. Don't worry about it. Camp McCarran, but I'm on leave at the moment, heading back to California to see my folks. I'm supposed to join up with a caravan that's heading that way up at the 188, but they're not due to arrive for a while yet. Bye. A customer. Not many people come into Boulder City these days. Most of the town is rubble, destroyed during the Battle of Hoover Dam. And the only other thing around here is the concrete mixing yard. The NCR has been constructing bunkers up and down the river. From what I've heard, it's a little late for that. Travelers over at the 188, just up the road, said that the Legion has overrun a couple of towns to the south. 
Most of the limestone comes from Quarry Junction out west, but I hear some death claws overran the quarry. With no work to be had, all the workers around here have wandered off. I'm the only one left in town. What can I... He was a good spotter. Yeah, we were. No. Sure. First NCR recon. It's a sniper battalion. Sees a lot of action. They moved us around a lot. I was stationed at Camp Golf for a while. Last I heard, they're at Camp McCarran. They pick you out if you do well at the firing range. Pays a little better. So I said okay. Yeah. You can tell by the patch. Bear skull with crossed rifles behind it. Slogan underneath. The last thing you never see. Pretty accurate. And so are we. Was an airport before the war. Command liked it because it was already fortified and it let them keep an eye on the strip. They've got an old monorail that still runs between them. Used mostly for supplies and deployment. But if you get leave, you're allowed to go gamble. It was General Oliver's post. But I heard he's been up at the dam a lot lately. Guessing Colonel Shu is running it. Didn't know him. He's a signature on my discharge papers. Wasn't real popular, though. Even overheard my CO complain about him once. General Wait and See, he called him. Yeah. He introduced himself to me once. I shook his hand. Doubt he remembered me now, though. When he looked at you, you could see he understood. After some of the things we'd seen, that meant something. But I heard he'd be a general right now if Oliver didn't know the president. The big one. The one the NCR is trying to hold on to, that the Legion's pushing for. Whole war depends on holding it. It was on the front line for a while. Only resort in New Vegas no one wanted to get sent to. Doesn't have that kind of importance anymore, though. They pulled most of the troops out of there after we took the Hoover Dam. All right. I was in a lot of places with First Recon. I don't really remember. That part of my life's over now. And so is this discussion. You got no right asking me that. Drop it. You don't know what you're asking. Just let it go for now. The Legion's the only thing I want on my mind right now. Okay. Coming east was about securing the land so people could live without fear. It's not always that simple, but I think the cause is still right. And God help us if they lose. Yeah. We've got a situation with some great cons right now. The Brass of McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved. One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the Great Khans. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the Khans into the ruins where they were caught in a crossfire. No deaths, but not all the squad got out. The Khans have Private Ackerman and Private Gilbert as hostages. Normally I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are, but considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack, all right, I'm going to give you a chance to talk to the Great Khans. Their leader is a man named Jessup. If we hear shooting, we'll be coming in, but it'll probably be too late for you. Good luck. I really don't have time to chatter right now. Shoot. It's one of the biggest sources of electrical power in the region, so the NCRs fortified the place pretty heavily. When President Kimball shows up on his inspection tour, I'm sure he'll be confident that the dam's safe and secure. Destroyed during the Battle of Hoover Dam a couple years ago, the town was set up as a trap for Caesar's Legion. The sharpshooters and the Rangers picked off the Legion's veterans from a distance, and the rest of the Legion just rushed on in. And boom. 
Camp McCarran is the headquarters for the NCR military in this region. It occupies the old airport next to New Vegas. It's probably just a political thing. You know, give a few speeches, shake hands with the troops, boost morale. They're an outlaw group primarily trafficking in drugs and other contraband. They usually stay out of NCR territory, though. All right. Sir? Man, I'm sick of this place. Can't wait to get back to Red Rock. What the hell? You're that courier Benny wasted back in Good Springs. You're supposed to be dead. Yeah, uh, about that. Don't have it. Benny stole it right before he stabbed us in the back. He's probably back at the strip by now laughing at me. What's to negotiate? The NCR backs off, we walk out of here, nobody gets hurt. I can't believe I'm doing this. But all right, the hostages can go. The NCR had better keep their end of the deal, though. Here, a souvenir for you. It's Benny's lighter. Shove it up his ass when you catch up with him. Yeah? On what? He's one of the chairmen, big shots that run the Topps Casino in New Vegas. A friend from the city contacted me with info on a big job. I should have known that the caps were too good to be true, but there was still no way I could pass up the chance. It's just a big fancy poker chip, as far as I know. Don't know why anyone would make one out of platinum, though. He's a snake, that's why. He owed us the rest of the pay for the job, so... ...maybe he didn't want to pay up. Fine. Eh, yeah, go on. Man, I thought I was dead for sure. I'm glad you were able to get my people freed, but there's a new problem. I just got orders to take out the Great Khans, hostages or not. My hands are tied. I can't go against orders, can I? You're right. The Great Khans are free to go. Thanks for the rescue. Thanks for getting me out of there. I owe you one. Fancy meeting you here, friend. getting mighty embarrassing. People gonna start to talk. <laughs> just rolling along on my spurs. Looks like I just might make it to New Vegas after all. Yep. Guess it's just down to you and Fancy Pants. I wouldn't worry about him. He looks all hat and no cattle if you ask me. Fancy Pants? No, I ain't seen hiding a hair of him since the tussle in Good Springs. I'm sure he ran back to the soft living of New Vegas, though. Look me up when you get to New Vegas. I'll buy the first round. No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Huh. 
Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given the circumstances. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen, can I ask you something on the level? I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? Well, that shouldn't be a problem for me. I can't afford anything like that. Hey, so where are you headed anyway? Ooh, very exciting. Gonna strike it rich, huh? I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really handle himself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together, help each other out. Oh, nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world, looking for a fresh perspective. I want to see how different groups have adapted to survive in the Mojave. See if there's something I can learn from. Like I said, they can handle themselves. And I'm not the only one getting supplies for them. It's a big family. Aw, you really know how to make a girl feel like a stray cat. But, okay, my offer stands, if we run into each other again. Welcome to the 188 Slopping Shop. Like our slogan says, <laughs> it's better than nothing. Samuel Kerr at your service. Me and my daughter Michelle run this fine establishment. We came here from Prim about a month past. Doesn't look like much, but it's one hell of a location. Michelle and I ran a little shop in Prim till a prison break north of town spoiled it for everyone. Goddamn convicts just about shut down I-15. When traffic dried up, we took to our heels to find us some customers. I'm not one to sit around waiting to get saved, and Michelle ain't neither. When 15 shut down, 95 became the route NCR citizens used to get to the Strip, or limp back home, after the Strip's drained them of caps. We get them coming and going. Coming, the suckers flush with caps they saved to gamble on the Strip. And going, the same folks, but now they're losers who will trade you the shirt off their backs so they don't starve before they make it back home. Add in the troopers marching back and forth from McCarran and the dam, and well, let's just say we don't miss Prim. You've done a good turn for the NCR, and now we'd like to do one for you. There's an NCR emergency two-way radio. You call, and we'll come running. You're not alone out here. The NCR has your back. Stay safe and good hunting. You a merc? Because you don't look like a prospector. Hell yes, sir. Well, not officially. Not anymore. They mustered me out a year ago. Administrative discharge. Staff Sergeant, 3rd Platoon, Bravo Company. I was at the dam when the Legion hit us three years back. That was a shitstorm, and don't let anybody tell you different. The brass try to play it down, but most of them were back at McCarran. I didn't. My CO ordered me to flog a couple deserters, and I told him to eat shit. So they kicked me out for insubordination. Those kids didn't desert. They just got liquored up on the strip and missed roll call. I don't know what else the brass expects. Half these kids don't get more than two weeks of training before they ship them out here. Going home didn't feel right. Not with those savages camped on the other side of the river sharpening their knives. And I still get to see my old platoon when they pass through here. Make sure the new CO is treating them right, and sneak them extra ammo. Anyway, I was always complaining about the standard issue gear. 
The new kids don't even get body armor. Can you believe that? So I hooked up with a couple other vets. Bribed a gunrunner. Now we're supplying grunts, mercs, and anybody else on our side. We don't make much, but at least we're saving lives. Vegas is bleeding us dry. We're tossing caps at a hundred different problems, while Caesar bides his time and lets us wear ourselves out. This war is gonna bankrupt the NCR, unless we finish off the Legion fast and dirty. We shouldn't be perched up at the dam. We ought to be crossing the Colorado and sticking a boot up Caesar's ass. Sure, no problem. Sure do. Lots of folk been coming out east, sorting through junk, looking for whatever they can sell. Times are tough back home. Too many people, not enough work. Unless you like shoveling Brahmin shit. I'll be here a while yet, if you need any guns or ammo. <laughs>